So I have a business idea for you. Uh, this is something that I'm not going to go through with. It's going to take a lot of work. It would take some investment of time, money, uh, money especially going toward more marketing, advertising, public relations to, to, to let people know that you're not being a jerk when you do this. But here's the idea. The idea is an indentured servant who gives you a percentage of what they make for the rest of their life. So here's what I mean. Right now, there's this, this demographic drought. There's actually a great paper by that name. It's about 50, 60 pages long, but it's well worth reading if you're an entrepreneur, uh, a business owner, manager, uh, having trouble hiring people, finding people. It's well worth reading that document to kind of see what's going on uh, in the early 2020s uh, in the United States and, and kind of worldwide. So there's this huge issue that everyone who has these great ideas to go out and do something productive in the world, can't find good help at reasonable rates. If you find somebody who's good enough, well, they've already started their own business. If you find people who aren't quite as good, but you still want them to work for you because they're okay, everybody wants them. That's, what, that's, that's who everybody's looking for. So how does an entrepreneur start a new venture? If you can't get folks to help you, how do you do this? And so an idea I had would be if you were good at building up human beings, helping people become a better them, but you find people who don't have, I guess what the, uh, the collectivists, the communists would call privilege. If you find people who don't have wealthy parents, who don't have a, a fancy education, who don't have a fancy piece of paper on the wall, if you find those people and you find these diamonds in the rough, somebody who says, well, yeah, of course I work. 14 hour days, seven days a week, like that's what you have to do to get stuff done. And they don't have a good work life balance. And you know, I need to take some time off to recharge. If they're not one of these, I'm not going to say pansies, but you know what I mean? If they're a truly driven person, but they need some polishing, they, they don't understand stuff about business. They don't, they haven't been there and done that. They have no money. They, they, their parents never taught them not to buy cigarettes and lottery tickets and Big Macs. They don't have that good background. If you could find those people and find the ones that say, no, I'm willing to dig deep and make it and then have personal sacrifices for other things that I value, I'm willing to exchange those for the long-term value of building my life into being wonderful. And if you could sit these people down and say, okay, here's the deal. Let's realistically look at what your future probably holds. In five years, what will your income, your annual income probably be? Let's just pretend inflation wasn't going to happen. And just, you know, in today's dollars, what do you think you'd probably make if you don't make any changes or you do what you're planning to do without me? If you just went ahead with that, doing the same old, same old, how much do you think you'd be making a year in five years? What about 10 years? What about 20 years? And then start adding at this five-year, 10-year, 20 years, start adding in what do you think your net worth is going to be? What is it now? Why isn't it more? Why aren't you making more per year now? Why, why isn't your net worth greater? It's probably because you don't know how to do a better job and you haven't had the investments in you, either your own personal investments or other people have not invested in you. So you look at this and you say, okay, this is where you're probably going to go. Do you want better? If you want better and you're willing to do what I say, follow, follow these steps that I give you to the T, like really do it, really work hard. I can help you become very wealthy. Now, here's what I want for it. Here's what I get in exchange. I get a percentage of everything you make over the next 30 years of your life percentage up to you what you negotiate 5% 10% 50% depending on the size of the investment maybe 95% will come back to me i'll hire you i'll tell you what to do you follow it to the t well, i guess i shouldn't say hire maybe the other person is hiring me i don't know but we're forming this relationship this business relationship and in the years to come you're going to make a lot of money i'm going to help you do it and i deserve a share of that do you agree? If you don't agree, fine. Let's let's part ways. I'll give you a few tips. We'll part ways. But if you really want to do this, I have some money to invest and I have the knowledge to invest. Let's go make this happen. Well, imagine if savvy entrepreneurs 
who have good ideas, who have, know how to screen 10 good ideas and find the one that will actually work, and who have you know a couple bucks to put behind these projects. Imagine if that person could have two or 10 of these uh, indentured servants, for lack of a better term. It's not really indentured servants. It's a different thing. But you get what I'm saying. These, these people who they've invested in. That could be a retirement plan for somebody. Okay, so I said this was a business idea. What's the business? You come up with all the stuff I've been babbling about, and I don't have all the details. Figure all the details out. Come up with a system for doing this so that it's turnkey for the, the poor 17-year-old high school dropout who has all this motivation and drive, not just yapping about it, but really truly has this drive, or the 30-year-old who says, I'm sick of being a, a government employee or, or unemployed or you know, say, just not producing value. And now I'm ready to go out, kick butt, take names, and yeah, I, I want connected with somebody. So you come up with a system that connects that person with the entrepreneur who's looking for eager, hardworking people with a positive attitude, or maybe they don't even have the, those perfect characteristics yet. Maybe those need to, need to be built into them, help them develop those. But to connect these people together, and then of course, whoever has this app or program or website, you monetize it by you getting a percent of these contracts that are made. You provide the ready-made contracts that they can, you know, maybe do a little bit of altering, but at least you have the draft done. You have your attorneys come up with a good one. Um, and then, you know, of course, you're doing the PR to say, no, 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 this isn't indentured, indentured servant servitude. This isn't slavery. This is a, an open, honest, voluntary agreement between people. You come up with that whole framework and start that company. And then if you're able to market it and get it out there, you could do really well over the next years. It's just an idea. I'm not going to do anything with it. I don't have time. It hasn't risen to the top in my pile. But if you're looking for ideas, eh, there's one. Change it up. Make it work. Thanks for watching. And hey, please do subscribe. If you like philosophy, personal development, uh, entrepreneurship, uh, being a better person, please subscribe and Click the little bell there so you get notifications.